Hi everyone, welcome you all. In the today's video, let us try to learn how to handle multiple pages or windows in Playwright. And uh, we can achieve this by using uh, browser context. And uh, we can create this browser context by using a browser. And then browser context contains the uh, multiple pages. So, so far in our previous examples or previous videos, whenever you create a new test, we are passing the page picture, right? So the page picture is already created by Playwright, which is already available. So which is representing multiple browsers, multiple pages. But in this, if you want to handle multiple browsers or multiple pages or multiple windows, we have to create our own page. And how we can create our own page by using browser context. So again, if you want to create a browser context, first of all, we need to create a browser. And then from that, we can create a browser context. And inside the browser context, we can create multiple pages. Okay. So first of all, let us see, uh, we will create one page, our own page, and then trying to launch the page. And after that, I will show you how to create multiple pages or how to create multiple windows, and then how we can switch between them and how can we handle uh, elements on the multiple pages or multiple browser windows. So let me directly go to uh, VS Code Editor. And here I have created a new spec file under my test folder handle windows.spec.js and uh, technically uh, as per the playwright so window and page both are same like multiple pages or multiple windows whichever way you can call so almost same so here i'm creating one test uh, files test block and uh, here we are trying to import test expert along with the a browser I'm trying to import Chromium browser because this time we are going to create our own page. We are not going to use existing page fixture. So inside the test, I'm not going to pass any page fixture inside my asynchronous function. Okay. So we will create our own page. So let us try to uh, create our own page. So to create our own page, the first step is we need to launch the browser. We need to create a browser. So for that, we are, we are going to use this Chromium module. Okay. So how to create, we can simply create like this. I can create one variable called const browser and equal to await. I'm trying to use Chromium model, Chromium dot launch. Okay, suppose if you want to create a page for some other browser, you can just import different module like Firefox or, uh, uh, or Opera or something like this. So whichever browser you want to create, you can just import particular module. So the first step we are creating a browser instance from the chromium dot launch launch is a method which is there in the chromium module so this will create a new browser and inside the browser we have to create a context so how to create a constant by using this browser await browser dot uh, new context this is the method we have to call so this will create a new context for us I can store that construct in a variable called context. So this is the first step. So we create a browser and then we created one context. So whenever you create a context, inside the context, we can create multiple pages. So browser contains a context, the context contains a multiple pages. Now by using this context, I'm trying to create two different pages. Let's say how to create a wait for context. Okay, and dot we have a method called new page. So this will create a new page in the context. And that I'm going to refer with a variable called, let's say page. So this is how we can create our own page by using browser and context. So if I don't want to do all these things, so simply we can get the fixture, page fixture, and you can interact all the elements by using that page fixture. And if you do not want to get the page fixture, if you do not want to use that page fixture, existing page fixture, you can create your own page like this. So we can first create a browser, then create a context. Once you have a context, you can create a number of pages. Now this is one page I created. Let me just give us page one. Now similarly, I can create another page for this. You can say, copy this. And I can say from the same context, I'm creating another page. Let's say I have two pages I've created so far. Okay, so two pages I have created under the same context. Suppose if you want to know how many pages I have created, how many pages are exist in this particular context. So I can simply get that information. So simply what I can do is you can say uh, whatever context you have done. So get that context. 
context dot uh, there is a method called pages so this will actually return uh, all the pages which are present on the context and that i'm going to store another variable const uh, all pages so this will get you all the pages which are there in the same context and now this variable hold all the pages so if you want to find how many are there you can simply print uh, console.log and uh, here i can say number of pages or windows also we can call so number of pages created so number of pages created so the variable name is what all pages so here i'm trying to refer that variable i can say all pages dot length so this will actually gives the length of all the pages so this is how we can simply create a browser and by using the browser we created the context and by using this context we can create a number of pages so this is a hierarchy so browser contains a context context can have n number of pages so i have created two different pages page one and page two now i have counted how many pages have been created here okay so let me just try to execute and see how it is going to give number now when i run this uh, i'm trying to execute this command npx playwright test handling windows spec.js because so far we are not uh, opening any urls or any applications just we are creating the browser and two pages right so i'm not running in the headed mode and just execute the test okay now you can see the output here it is exactly created uh, number of pages are created two so two pages are exactly created you can see here so two pages are got created so now what i can do is i can handle these two different pages independently so there is no connection between these two now so we cannot directly navigate from one page to another page here because these two pages are totally different even though they have belongs to one context the page two and the page two and one both are totally different okay so if you want to uh, use this page one by using this page one i will launch one application and by using page two i will launch another type of application okay so let's see how we can do this both are currently independent so i can say i'll wait for page one and uh, i'm trying to use page one so i wait for page one dot go to i am trying to launch one application here okay let me launch some application okay this is the application i'm launching and then i'll try to check the title of the page so for that i'm putting some assertion i can say white expect on the page one uh, on the page one dot to have title so i'm just trying to find the title of the page so if i look at this page let's capture the title of this Okay, now so this is a page and if i want to get the title you can see in the header tag so this is a title tag in the header inside the title you can see okay now i'm just trying to compare this title okay what exactly i've done is i have created two pages by the same context but in the first page i'm trying to open this url and verifying some title similarly I will repeat the same thing for another page. Second page also we created with the same context. So here I can say page two. And here I will launch uh, some other application. So for example, when I click on this link, I'm trying to launch this URL. So this is a different thing. So both will be treated as a different URL. So different pages will be open. Okay, now this is another page. And here, uh, the title of this page, inspect. <coughs> and go to header tag and uh, you can see the title here so this is the whole title of the page let me capture and then paste it here okay so done so what exactly we have done is we created a browser then by using the browser we created the context and by using the context we can create multiple pages so i have created two different pages and also i have find out how many pages are created then in the first page i open this url and verifying the title in the second page, I'm verifying, I'm opening another URL and then verifying the title. So if I look at here, you have to notice one thing. Both the pages are totally different. So we have not navigated from one page to another page actually. So if I look at this application, uh, this is the actual page. This application will be opened on the page one, right? So when you click on this link, bottom link, and it will open the another URL on the same tab, another tab. And these two are linked actually. 
right? But what I have done is I have created two different pages. In the first page, I opened one application. In the second page, I have opened another application. I have not navigated to the second page from the first page. I have not navigated. By clicking on the link, I have not navigated. So independently, I have opened two different URLs on the two different browsers, okay? So that just I want to show you how to create a multiple pages, okay? So if you want to navigate from one page to another page, how we can do that? In the, in the next example, I will show you. So let us try to save and then execute the test. Okay. Now I'm trying to execute my test. So number of pages are created too. So currently it is executing in the headless mode. So you can't see URLs or anything. And once the validation is done, so my assertion should pass. And uh, I think this is not page one. Actually, this is a page two. So we have done some mistake here. Yeah, now it has got failed. If I look at here, this is the title we are expecting from the page two, but this is the title which is there. So that's the reason it's got failed. So what I can do is here, I can say page two. Okay, now, and also I'm trying to run uh, in the headed mode because we are launching the URLs and everything. So I can simply say hyphen hyphen headed. Okay, now you can see two, browser windows are launched or two pages are launched this is my first page this is my second page okay so perfectly fine so all assertions are got passed so if you look at this example so we are maintaining two pages are differently right so if you want to perform any operations on the first page you have to use page one here and if you want to perform any operations or any validations or if you want to interact with any elements in the second page then you have to refer this object so page one and page two are two different objects referring two different applications but this is not actual scenario so sometimes what happens is suppose if i look at this the first application now i'll try to open this application first on the page one right so after that i want to click on this link and this will automatically gives another tab like this. Now I want to interact with this page. Okay, now there is a link between the first page and the second page. So previously what I've done, I have opened the URLs in two different browsers, but now I want to create one single page. When I click on this, it will open the new tab and here the second application URL is open. Now I want to switch between these two applications to work, okay? So this is basically an event. So whenever you click on this, this will open or this will trigger an event and that it will open the new page. Okay. So how can we this handle in the playwright? So they have provided some information like this. Handling new pages. So the page event on the browser context can be used to get new pages that are created in the context. So what does it mean? When I open or when I click on some link, it will automatically open the tab, right? So that is also part of the context. So this can be used to handle the new pages opened by target blank link. So for that, what we need to do is we have to trigger an event. So whenever you click on some link, let's say this is an example they have given. So whenever you click on that link, that will trigger an event and that will open the another tab. So let me show you practically how can we achieve this. So here we created page one and page two and we have independently done this. Now I will copy the same test and uh, let's create another test. So let me run this only. Handle multiple pages. Multiple pages or windows. Now observe this. So here also exactly the same thing. We have to first create a browser context. Browser created and context also we created. And then we created one page. So I don't want to create another page. So just created one page, page one. So in the page one, I will try to launch my application and then I will validate the title of the page directly. Okay, so I have just created only one page and open this URL and validate the title. So after that, what I will do is I will perform click action on that page and that will navigate to the second page. Okay, so I just want to remove all these things observe this so i have just created only one page and i have opened the url and verify the title so after that what i will do is i will just perform the 
click action on this link. Suppose here there is a link in the bottom section, right? So when you click on this, it will trigger an event and that means it will open the new page like this. Okay, this we have to handle. This we have to create. So how to do this? We need to, uh, before clicking on the link, we need to trigger one event. Okay, so how to trigger the event? We First, we need to take the same context, whatever we created. In the context, uh, we need to call one method called wait for event. Wait for event. And which event? The page. Okay, this is the event. So this will, we have to store in some variable and which is basically a promise. A promise means we have to wait till another page is open. So that we can uh, put in a, a, one variable. Let's create one variable called, I name it as a page promise. Okay, so this is a const variable. Okay, so why have triggering this event? So when I click on this link, this event will be triggered. Okay, so now we need to click on the link. So how to click on the link? I'm taking the same page again. Just remember this. I'm taking the same page, page one dot and uh, trying to find that element because whenever you're referring the page, we need to use await, await page one dot locator. And you need to observe one thing here. I'm navigating to the next page by clicking on the link. Okay. So I just try to click on this link, inspect this element and uh, take any of the locator, link text or CSS or whatever you want. So I'm just taking relative XPath for this element. This is a basically a link element. And this is an element. And keep this in single quotations. Okay, now this is the element and this I want to perform the click action. Right. So two statements have written. What happens? So when you perform the click, okay, so this will open the new browser window or new page it will create. Okay. So when it will create, so when you click on this link, this will create a new page. So that I'm going to store in a variable. I'm creating another variable called await observe this i can say await this is a new page and uh, this particular page promise i'm going to store in the new page okay so that particular page promise we need to store in the main page so what exactly it is page promise okay so what exactly it is if you observe this and this new page is const variable sorry okay so what happens here is in the page one, I open this URL and just verifying the title. So the page one job is over. Now I want to click on the link and navigate to the next tab or next window. So whenever you click on this link, before clicking on the link, we have to keep open the page and open empty. So this will open the new page with empty tab. Then we are clicking on the link and that link will open in the next page, right? So we need to wait here so when we will get the new page once you click on this link then it will open the tab in the new page then only this promise will be fulfilled right so once this job is done and then this page promise we have to store in the new page so this variable is representing the new tab okay now by using this new page tab i am trying to open or i am trying to find the title. I'm not going to open the URL again. Second page URL, I'm not opening. Just like a previous example, okay? So I already click on this link. This link will open the new URL and the new tab where it is available in the new page. So now I'm directly putting the assertion. So I'm taking the same type of assertion and here, expect in the new page, that new page, what is the title we should have? So this is the title we already captured area. So I'm just getting the title here. Right. So this is the title. So now see the difference between the first test and second test. In the first test, I opened two different URLs in the two different pages. And here we are not actually handling multiple pages. We are not navigating, we are not navigating from one page to another page. But if I look at the second example here, we just created only one page and uh, open the URL and by clicking on that link, we are going to the next tab. And in the next tab, this link, it automatically opens the new URL and the new application, new page. 
that we are storing in the new page object and then we are directly putting the assertion okay so after that i'll just try to wait for some time here await page one dot and now if you want to switch between two different pages you can just refer this object new page or page one so page one representing the first page new page is representing the second page okay so we no need to switch between one page to another page so by default these two are two different page objects are maintaining in the same context so suppose if you want to do any validation in the page one still you can refer page one and if you want to do any validation in the second page then you can refer the new page okay now after completion of our session i'm just waiting for some time here to see the action page one dot wait for timeout i can just wait for three seconds and also i will try to wait in the second page and that is our new page that's our new page and wait for three seconds and finally i want to close my browser simply i can say await browser dot close because we created our own page we have not used existing page fixture right so finally whatever browser we created that is closed so this is how we can simply handle multiple browser windows so this is a crucial step how we can create an event when you click on this link this will create a new event okay so let's try to execute the test and see so i have put two assertion now open the terminal window and run the test so again and not this one yeah this is our clear now again i am running the headed mode same test okay not launching my browser this is my first application then it is open the new tab also open the new url so it is trying to find titles of both the pages and i put some assertions also we can just look at here yeah my test is got successfully passed and let us see the report npx playwright show iphone a report okay now this is my test which is got executed yes okay so this is wait for event is successfully done and everything is successfully executed okay so this is how we can simply uh handle multiple pages or multiple windows according to the playwright there is no difference between page and uh, window technically both are same so what we can do is first we need to create a browser instance then we create a context inside the context we can create multiple pages so here page one i have created through the page one i have navigated to the second page that means second uh, url and uh, I'm just trying to perform some action on the first page. And then also I'm performing some action on the second page, first page and second page. So just by referring this object, you can navigate any of the browser window. You can perform certain validations. Okay. So this is all about this video, how to handle pages or windows. And more information is available in the documentation. It's very, very clear with the examples. You can just play with this, right? So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll discuss another topic.